Hey everybody, so I got a new solar power station to share with you today from All Powers. This one is the S2000 Pro. It does also come with a carry bag. Uh, they did send this one over for me to try out and share with you guys. Also, I did get two of the 100 watt solar panels and I do have those set up in parallel. Now, you will be able to charge this several different ways. If you charge it with solar power, you have, if you charge it with solar power, you have the XT60 connection here and plug that in. With solar power, you could charge it up to 500 watts uh, with a series of solar panels or much larger, more powerful solar panels. It just got really windy, so I'm hoping that the audio will be okay with this. You could also charge this with AC power. You'll plug it in with the back with like a computer type cord and it will charge it up to 400 watts. And with DC power, it's gonna depend on if you're 12 volt or 24 volt, and it's not gonna be quite as powerful or as quick charging. You can also charge this with AC and solar at the same time, and you can get up to 900 watts of charging power at a time. So if you do it that way, you'll be able to charge this in super fast speeds in no time. Anyway, let's talk a bit more about the power station. Also the solar panels, they do come with adapters, and we do have like an, each one does have one of those solar panel adapters and we do have a adapter for other types of power stations and other types of devices to plug in. Also does come with other tips and the power station also does come with the 12 volt cord. I just misplaced where I put it for now. Now, right now it's really cloudy. I don't have any sun whatsoever, but it is still charging at about 70 watts. When I do have full sun or mostly full sun here, I was getting about 150 ish watts or so. Now this solar generator can power 2000 watts continuous and up to 4000 surge. Now I have not used that much power and I don't, but I have used about 2000 watts I have used. Also for anybody that is wondering, this weighs 32 pounds. Now, if you're in an RV or a trailer, or maybe you just like to take your coffee pot with you outdoors to camping, sometimes you can't have a fire easily. And it is nice to have one of these little compact coffee makers if you can't have a fire. All right, so we'll go ahead and have a coffee brewing and let's see how many watts this one is using. So right now we're using about 1,250, 1,300 watts. Well, it just dropped to 1,000 watts and then it says 108 hours. So, I mean, it might actually go for a long period of time. It really depends on how many wattage, how much watts you're using in this. All right, so it's even brewing. It's lowering the wattage and the fans kicked off. So it's not using as much power now. And right now we are getting 60 watts of power input from the solar panel. So we just brewed a 12 ounce Keurig pot and we went from 99 to 96%. So we use 3% of the battery capacity, uh, at least estimated, make it one cup of coffee. Now I used to have this microwave in my truck that I drove around. So I've had this for quite a while. All right, so we got the microwave going. The fan just kicked in because it's using a lot more wattage. And we are using 1100 watts right now. Now, what if you want to use the microwave and brew a cup of coffee at the same time? So we got it going. Now we are shooting up. Well, let's get it going here. All right, now this one did not like the microwave and the Keurig at the same time. So you will want to split that up. That was a lot of surge. And then I also have my smaller Tavalia oven, which is kind of like a glorified toaster oven, pretty much. All right, so I'll go ahead and just do a quick bake mode at 375. Let that get going. And that shows we're using a little over 1300 watts of power. And the last test I'll do is an 1875 watt hair dryer. So right now, if we're using the low mode, we are using 500 watts and this will last forever. Do the high. Kick it up to hot. Let's use the max wattage here. Now this also does have a Bluetooth mode where you can connect it to an app. And with the app, you can get more information. 
Okay, so I do have the app open. Let's go ahead and click on the power station that's on there. It will pop up once you turn that on. And here in the app, you're gonna be able to see your input and your output power. And you'll also be able to see your remaining and the remaining time. You can also turn on and off the outlets from here. But like if we turn this on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on low. The app should, there it goes. It's gonna say output 628 watts. It's gonna let you know. And remaining time, it actually says one hour and 37 minutes. So that is actually, so the app seems a little bit more on the accurate level when it comes to time remaining. Let's go ahead and crank it up a little bit. So yeah, if we're using 1400, almost 1500 watts now, it says remaining time 43 minutes. We'll go ahead and turn that off where we only have the input coming in. And at a 40 watt input, it's gonna take a while to charge it as you can see on the screen. Anyway, that's my quick demonstration of the All Powers Power Station. I think it works really well. I'm definitely going to enjoy using this for camping. I'm also using this to power a lot of my outdoor stuff right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.